The theme that was selected for today was fraternal collaboration between AAC and SAUC. Well, what we have tonight is fraternal collaboration between AAC and SAUC. The organizing committee was, uh, you know, we've got Indonesia, we've got Philippines, we've got India. I was in India, so I didn't have to. <laughs> so I just came to eat. But, um, <clears throat> but because they won't let me eat without doing some work, I have to say a few words. So, first of all, when we talk about fraternal collaboration, let's look at what's happening over um, here in Rome, because this is where we are, and then we'll talk about what's happening in Asia and a bit further afield. Over here in Rome, for those of you whom um, I met last year during our first meeting, I already shared with you that this is probably the first time uh, we've ever had this number of Asian fries serving in the general courier. In the past, it was only the general definitive and maybe one or two fries here and there. And now in all the main offices, we've got a fry. We've got uh, the big office, of course, the Liverpool office. And we've got Baptist, we've got uh, the Vice Secretary for Formation and Studies, General Animator for Missions, the Vice uh, Secretary General, and um, <laughs> so, but apart from that, what else do we have in the general courier? If you look at our commissions, our commission for prayer, of course, as contemplative life, we look at our commission, <laughs> Brother President, because he's such a wonderful model for prayer and contemplation, as we all know. But if you look at some of the other uh, commissions, um, I'm on the commission for dialogue, and we've got uh, members of AAC and SAUC present. We have our, within formation, we have the commission for affective maturity. A document is coming out soon. And apart from the general secretary for formation and studies, we've also got two women, one of whom is Asian. And that's it, just one, uh, one prior and, and two to the women who are professionals in their own field. If we look at our finance, our Economato office, we have um, an Asian friar who is on the advisory committee for the Economo General. We have one Asian um, lady who is on the board for the advisory committee for the General Definitory. For our investment committee, our investment commission, we've actually got an Asian lady who is the chair of the Investment Commission for the Order of Rise Minor. And that's a really big thing that it's, um, it's an Asian, and it's a lady, and she's the chairwoman. <coughs> we have any number of other um, shared projects, and we're engaging not only fries from Asia, but also our lay participants. So when we talk about collaboration, it's important that we have in mind the synodal aspect of the church, we should not have to do all this work alone. And in fact, usually the lay people are much more qualified, much better skilled, much more experienced, and have many more contacts than we do. Your presence, for many of you, you are at the Antoniano. Uh, your presence is a witness of, um, of collaboration of your entities and of, our, and of your conferences in its engagement with the wider order. Let's now look at what's happening in Asia. You'll see a little presentation later on. In April, actually, in December last year, when I met, uh, when I met you, some of the brothers, some of you present here, were asking me, so what's happened to this, uh, this course for formators that we've been talking about for a long, long, long time? Uh, I remember since I was uh, first with, uh, with FCAL in 2010, we were already talking about it. Before COVID, we were ready to launch. And um, finally, when we met as FCAL in April in Bali this year, we have some of our ex-members of the Antoniano, ex-alumni, my husband, Derek Yeah, uh, from Pakistan, Azim Lawrence. They were studying the Antoniano together. And um, we've got uh, two others, the Secretary for Formation of South, Charles Bernard, and Secretary for Formation for AAC. Joel Sulsi, they have gotten together and they are planning to launch our first Asian-based formators course, um, beginning, I 
think the book is beginning here next year with an initial cohort of 15 students. It's slightly different from the course at the Antoniano. It's not, you know, it's not a licentiate, it's not a master's. It's only a half-year program. It will be two months of, um, sorry, one, one month online, um, half a year of, sorry, one, one month in person, half a year online, and we'll finish again in person. You'll hear more about that from our uh, uh, Vice Secretary for Formation and Studies. But that's going ahead. At the same meeting, we discussed about uh, how we're going to share in our collaboration for projects in the order. One project is Papua New Guinea. And so we have uh, one brother from uh, Pakistan, hopefully one more, two from Vietnam, and also the availability of uh, ongoing formation uh, brothers from uh, the north of the Philippines province and the southern Philippines provinces who are engaged. Again, that's another level of collaboration. When we, last year we talked about the closure of our uh, presence and, uh, in Bangkok. Well, we are beginning a new presence in the northeast of Thailand. Why is that collaboration? Because Thailand, historically, has always been part of SARC. But the entity that's beginning this new presence is from AAP. It's going to be um, the province of St. Anthony, uh, San Antonio de uh, Padua, from the south of the Philippines. And um, Dennis went with uh, a provincial, and we just signed a, uh, a contract with the bishop. Happily, that, uh, that new community is only 80 kilometers away from the community in Laos, where the Vietnamese brothers are. And so again, they, are, they, they want to be able to provide fraternal support to each other. Other issues of uh, collaboration taking place include the Indonesian province of St. Michael the Archangel and the uh, province in uh, West Papua, in Papua, uh, St. Francis Herald of Peace. They're looking at beginning some new missions in parts of Indonesia where previously we were not present. So those are areas of collaboration. Not forgetting synodality, one of the things that I've been uh, encouraging the ministers during my visits to the entities, the ministers and the secretaries, is that synodality includes bringing in other people into our discussions. For example, if we say we want to do ministry of migrants, do we have a commission for migrants? Do we have migrants <coughs> in the commission? If we are going to do work with um, Let's say we've got some, uh, some entities are working together on, uh, on the Ratio Formaciones. If the Ratio Formaciones is going to include novices and postulants, do we have novices and postulants coming in and giving input? <coughs> Those become the wider sorts of questions when we talk about fraternal collaboration. Because we are the order of Friars Minor, and our fraternity is not only ourselves, the solid professed members of the Order of Rice Minor. We are brothers of everyone, everyone and everything. The world are brothers and sisters. And so as we continue to reflect on um, fraternal collaboration in, within, and between Ea and Sirok, I'd like to invite you to consider what is your vision for a more collaborative Entity, conference, and order. <coughs> How do you understand collaboration and fraternity? I'd like you to reflect on how you think your entity, your conference, our conferences, 